So there's been some rumors going around that Diamond Nicole, DDG's cousin, has been stalking NBA Youngboy and his missus. Jania, who's Youngboy's ex, and Diamond have had a lot of drama in the past. If you want me to cover the past drama, get this video to 10,000 likes, and hey, I'll make a whole series out of it if you want me to. Today, we're gonna get into all of that. My team reached out to Diamond, and we do have some exclusive receipts. Before we go forward, just like to tell you this is very important. We asked her during when this drama was happening, okay? Not recently, I don't want people going, oh, Diamond just wants the drama to come up again. No, we asked her while it was happening, okay? Just to debunk the booze. Y'all know I never defend this girl. I've called her out on many things. And also, do not send me messages about NBA Youngboy drama. He has the privilege to be on my channel today is because Diamond Nicole is in the mix of this drama. I never cover celebrity drama. I do not care about rapper celebrity drama. So let's get straight into the drama. On August the 26th, Diamond has been planning on making sessions. A friend of hers was helping her book out to make a session so she can record her music. August the 27th, she planned to fly out that Tuesday to go to Houston so she can record her music. Diamond claims, I went to Houston to record my music with my friends. My ticket being booked months ahead of time for only music purposes. Everybody in my camp knows that also being knew that. It happened to be that Jania also booked a flight as well. According to Diamond, this ish happened on the 31st of last when she seen me. I mean, even text her manager when she saw Jania. Man, guess who I'm on the plane with? Who you on with? Jania. The F? I know, right? Y'all seen each other? Now, after the texting incident, apparently, according to Diamond, there was words exchanged. Plus, it's funny because when I left from walking out, she was behind me. I asked her, do she have a problem? She said no, and I told her it's no problem over here. Then she walked off. Anyway, it looked like Diamond was having a good time, posting food that she was eating. Ew. Posting pictures of her working. More proof between messages between her and her friend to prove that they were working on music. Christ, that was terrible. That's when the rumors really started to kick off and circuit online. I even remember reading in my comments people saying she was stalking young boy and all this weird ish, and I was just like, where are people getting this from? Apparently, it's been coming from a young boy T page. Now, apparently, he has some receipts of a girl that was, I think, sending messages to him or whoever owns that T page. And they were making some bold claims about Diamond saying, Diamond called Dr. Office pretending to be Nini to get Nini's phone number, but when she finds out Casey has an upcoming appointment, so she found her way to see which airline Nini's. Man, where's your full stops? is taking but calling all the airlines when she booked her flight for the same time in the day I think it was Delta or America Airlines. Oh my god, what the air? She literally called the airline acting like she had had a list flight. She's still in Houston. She slide on Puta and start making music here since he here. She did all that just to see Nini in person. Weird as F and ain't do-ish. She called all the airlines pretending to be Jania with a lost flight. They're saying that Diamond found out young boy, mom Sharona, and sisters T. Lee's address. So these are messages that have been sent to Jania, apparently, of this person. And the person is claiming C. Also, somehow, apparently, found Sharona and T. Lee's address. This is the page at on the top. She says she's willing to speak to you personally. Bruh. This girl's on the flight with me, what the F? And apparently they're claiming that Diamond called three realtors to get Janae's address. Tell her about her going through three realtors for Janae's address because she can simply call those people and ask. If she call the lady, she'll tell her that Diamond asked her for Janae's address pretending to like her apartments just to do that weird Ish and stuff. Now, whoever this person is, message Jania saying, She's obsessed with you and your baby daddy. I'm letting you know for your well being. I forgot to tell you she would fly to Houston to sit in front of your building and watch you. Uh -huh. No, security! That's creepy. 
Thank you for telling me. T-Page asked the blonde head profile if Diamond was still in Houston. Apparently she was. So anyway, all of these guys were posted on that T-Page which I showed you before. That young boy T-Page captioned it saying, this is literally so crazy, nobody knew that Nini had a flight with her. And she's been contacting Nini's realtors to be close to where Nini is so that she can be close to Kentrell for when he pick up Casey. All this being proven. I have had DM'd Nini. Now this escalated so much that it caught Diamond's attention and she ended up posting on Instagram saying, y'all would really make up anything then believe the ish like come on now what else happened? The T page responded to that saying, who the F would lie about you seeing Nini on a plane? Question mark. I thought it was Cap till I asked Nini. Literally nobody knew y'all seen each other. Diamond ended up going on Instagram ranting about the situation out of frustration. Here's what she said. I know that. I know you're watching. I know you on a fake account, a spam account, a T-page. Look, let me break this down. Y'all, let me tell you something. Y'all so quick to call somebody else weird, but look at your actions. You don't understand that the fact that you're hiding behind a page just to troll on people's shit or just to think you know information that's false information. I'm talking to you, the one that got to hide themselves. If you a real, talk to me in person, all this other shit, this internet shit, I, you can have it. And y'all really think y'all be bullying a motherfucker, bullying shit. Cause it's just funny how people do all this through the internet, the fingers be moving. But when you see me in real life, no, it, it don't be none of that. And that's that. Come do it to me! And that's T. It don't ever be none of that. Any, yeah. Let me get off this shit. Now this was also posted on that young boy T page and people are saying that Diamond is talking about Jania. Now an alleged conversation between Diamond and an anonymous person end up getting posted on the T page. This is what it said. They're bored and miserable. They always be trying to create a lifetime story that's false. Tell me about it. I was just like, yo, I joke, I TP. They don't have none of else to do, but in this guy's life, 24 seven, they obsess. ATP, it's creepy. It's more than creepy, it's sick as that. They mental, they need help, real life help. Like how are they so invested in this man's life and people around him or even cool with them? During this time, Diamond commented on Twitter saying, straight up delusional. Then Jania responded to that saying, act like a whole little girl. Anyway, people on Twitter had all this to say. Check it out. Anyway, after all this, it ended up going into our DMs, and this is when my team reached out to Diamond, and this is what Diamond had to say. This going the last call explained, myself to the world is what I'm not about to do. I went to Houston to record my music with my friends, my ticket being booked months ahead of time for only music purposes. Everybody in my camp knows that also being knew that. This little lame A lie that's going around is sick as F. It's funny how randomly outsider know what's going on. When this ish happened on the 31st, the last when she seen me, but hey, we all know who created this fake A page to make that lame A ish look like that which was her. Now to further confirm things, we asked her if there were any fans on the plane. And literally there was no fans, just regular people on the plane. That's why I was confused on how somebody random DM you, nobody but me, her only seen each other. If that was the case, people would have took pictures and she knows that. I'd just like to clear this up though, the person who did DM us was just a random person who DM'd us a T page. So it's not like they gave us exclusives or anything like that. They just linked us to another T page. We also asked her if she was contacting relatives and stuff. She said false information. We asked her if she contacted any as doctors or whatever to get information. How can I pretend to be anybody? Who does that lame-ish? 
Okay, so here is my conclusion. There is no concrete evidence to back up the claims that Diamond has rung realtors, has contacted a doctor's office, and a doctor office isn't gonna give someone's contact details over the phone. That's impossible. And if that did happen, how do they know? Were they the doctor? Were they sitting next to the doctor when it happened? Doctors don't disclaim people's personal details like that. Now regarding the flight information, it is impossible for Diamond to get Jania's flight information. That is completely impossible. She needs verification, she needs all these other things to find out if Jania is gonna be on the same, like, how? Show me how. Let me know in the comment section. It's important. Find out what flights I'm gonna be on next week. Let me know. Go in the comment section. Find that shit out. I want if if any if Diamond can find out, you can find out too, right? There's only three people that knew that Diamond and Jania were on that flight. Diamond, Jania and the manager, unless Jania probably told someone else maybe and someone also knew they were on the flight. Now the question is, who is this random person going to the young boy T page, going to Jania talking about diamond stalking? Who? Like it couldn't be Diamond's manager because why would Diamond's manager want to ruin her reputation like that and make her look like a stalker? Like that's just really bad and foul. So I completely understand why Diamond feels it's probably Jania with some fake accounts doing that ish. But then again, why would Jania do it? At the end of the day, these rumors cannot be proved. There's no credible evidence to prove that Diamond is doing all these things and stalking and all that. But at this point, those claims definitely sound like bull to me. Whoever's behind these accounts though, that's something I just don't know. I don't know these people well enough to say it's her, or it's her, or it's some random person on the plane. But it's definitely weird. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, if you don't want to miss out on any of the updates of this situation, make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications so you don't miss out on any of it. Smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in another drama video.